Hi, everybody. So by now, you've seen activity three from unit three, where we added in to our circuit, we added additional loops with bulbs that each have resistance. We know that every bulb has that thin little filament that has resistance to charge flowing through it. But we saw that we got more current when we added more bulbs with their own loops. And that can feel weird. How does adding more stuff that has resistance, how can that lead to less resistance? And so I want to just share uh, really quick, I just want to share uh, what it is uh, maybe that could help us understand that. So here I have a circuit diagram. Right now I just have uh, one round bulb in a circuit with, we can see here, this is a two cell battery. And if I just have this one round bulb in the circuit, then I get current going around the loop this way, uh, following that green path, then I have current, I have charge flow going around in that loop. But now what if I add one more bulb like so? Now this next bulb has its own separate loop. I can see, uh, I can see that this bulb is on a different loop than the first bulb if I trace around. And oh, that's not what I wanted. But going around this way, then I complete that loop to and from the battery without, okay, I'm going to quit doing that, uh, without passing through that first bulb. So I can pass through either this green loop or I could pass through this blue loop. Now, adding that second bulb on to the circuit this way, and we can see that this is not the same as adding them in series, um, I can see that I haven't changed the path through this first bulb at all. The first bulb is really unaffected by the addition of the second bulb. But if we think about where the compass was in activity three, the compass was on this wire that was coming right off of the battery. And this wire right here, can you see that it has both the green loop and the blue loop as a part of this wire. This wire makes up part of both of those two loops. Um, if I follow a loop coming out of the positive end of the battery, I'm gonna try this magic pen one more time. If I come out of the battery, I only have one way to go so far, but now when I get to this junction of wires here, a place where wires meet, then I could either continue on down that green path and then back to and through the battery, or I could have followed the loop around through the second bulb. So these two bulbs each have their own separate loop with the battery. And since they each have their own separate loop, then one of them being connected or not doesn't really change what happens with the other bulb. But this wire right here coming off of the battery, both of those currents that go through bulb one and bulb two, they both passed through this one. So the first bulb has resistance to charges going through it. The second bulb has resistance to charges going through it. But now, since there are two different ways that charges could complete a loop that leaves and comes back to the battery, then this is sort of like having a wider path. Uh, like if you had two straws, if you were blowing air out one straw, and then you blew air out two straws side by side in your mouth, that gives a wider pathway for air to get out of your mouth. 
And that reduces, even though each straw has resistance to the flow of air out of your mouth, that second straw gives for a wider area. It's sort of like just having a wider tube. And so essentially I have two filaments that both resist the flow of charges, but these two filaments are sort of side by side instead of one after another. Um, and if I add a third bulb on, oh, that wasn't good. If I add a third bulb on, well then now I've got a third separate loop. Each one of these bulbs is connected to its very own loop. And so the charge that goes through any one bulb doesn't depend on the others. But if we look again at this wire here, right coming right off of the positive end of the battery, now I've got the currents for all three bulbs passing through this wire. And so adding more bulbs doesn't change the current through any one of the bulbs. Actually, maybe you noticed in the video that that was a very slight change. That's a long story that I don't want us to get into right now. Um, let's say that it basically stays the same brightness when I add more bulbs on. And this green flow here doesn't change when I add the other bulbs. This blue flow doesn't change when I add that third bulb. So they're each independent of each other. And if I unscrewed, say, bulb one, then bulb two and bulb three would both still have their own loops. They would still both be lit. But this wire right here has all of those moving charges going through it. So I get more flow coming out of the battery down here at the bottom. I've got more flow coming back into the negative side of the battery. So that can help explain how we saw the results that we saw, where adding things with resistance manages to decrease the overall resistance. Um, and this would be like, what if I had three straws all side by side in my mouth to blow air in and out of? It would be easier, even though each straw has resistance. Um, quickly, another analogy that I could use would be uh, like thinking about at a grocery store. Um, if I have to go through a checkout line, if there's only one checkout line open, then every single customer has to go through that line. Uh, and there's a lot of resistance to getting out of the store. Now, if a second checkout line opens up, then you can go through either the first or the second. Now, everybody still experiences resistance to getting out of the store. Everybody still experiences resistance to, uh, to flowing out because they still have to pass through a cashier's line. But now not everybody has to travel through the same line and that reduces the resistance to every one person uh, or that reduces resistance to getting out in general. Um, and so we can get a higher rate of flow of customers out of the store. And the more checkout lines I open up side by side, um, which we're going to call this way of connecting things parallel, the more I connect things in parallel like this, uh, then the less resistance I'm going to have to getting out of the grocery store, the less resistance the circuit will experience to the flow of charges coming in and out of the battery. Um, now that would be different from, say, if you had to go through to leave the store going through series. Like if you ever go to Costco, for example, you go through the checkout line and then you have to go through another line where they look at your receipt. And so you have to go through one after another. And going through one after another, that's like series where the more things I have to do one after another, they all slow me down more. There's more resistance to getting out of Costco by having to go through two lines than if there was just one line. Anyway, I hope that that was helpful, and I will see you sometime soon. Bye.